And I'll show you what this looks like as we do it. This one has a six inch throat, which is about all you're ever going to need. So we'll start up here in the beginning and we'll start kick, we'll start, start kick shrinking. I'm trying to keep it right on that line. We're not going to go the full pattern because we don't need to have a lot of tuck into it. We're going to go to about there because you don't want it to go too far or too hard. So what we'll do is that's pretty much on the shape that I'm going after. So as you can see when I, when I kick it, it's actually pulling the materials together. So now we have more shape. We'll go into the third one now. So now it's starting to bring it down further, as you can see. I'm going to do one final pass, maybe two more passes on the outside, and we'll get this to keep coming. So the way to do it is, is to back it off, load the machine. You can see it's like this. The first few passes, you just want to make sure that you can't move side to side. That's it. From there to there. That's it. That little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it with both hands evenly spaced and then just start to walk back and forth, back and forth. Be very careful around your hands and try not to stretch the edges. Use this outer lip right here as basically a frame. Don't go on to that area at all. You can go up to it with the center of it, which you can see the riding path, but do not go on to this because you're going to stretch out everything you just shrunk in. Because this is like, this is a stretching device, not a shrinking device. You can shrink on that, but that'll be in a later video. So, you're going to start to roll this thing real nice. You can spin it around and start getting the front. Once it starts to take some shape, what you can do is you can start to tighten it up a little bit. You don't want to tighten it up too fast because what will end up happening is you'll start to get like zebra stripes and zebra stripes are no fun they are pain to get out so as you come in on the edge as you can see I'm close to the edge but I'm not actually on the edge spin it around
That's how you get that shape. Body steps. We'll do one more. I don't know if we'll be able to get this one. Should be able to. We'll redraw it in. Consistency is key. And you have to dolly these in, that's no big deal. 